We're talking today about waterproofing your foundation. You know, as a builder, the worst phone call you can possibly get is that client calling you saying they've got water in their basement. On today's episode, we're gonna give you the three keys to a dry foundation and show you the best practices so you never have to take that call. So first, let's talk about where we are. This foundation behind me is a giant in-ground foundation on a hillside lot. We excavated a ton of rock out of here and we've got a big foundation. This wall behind me ends in this footer that I'm standing on. And so I'm gonna actually show you from the footer on up how to do this right. So first, let me talk about the three Ds of a dry foundation. There's three keys or three Ds that we need to remember. The first D is drain down. You know, we want an air gap on the outside of our foundation so that water coming towards our foundation is gonna hit a space that it's gonna easily be able to fall down so we can collect it and pump it out later. We're gonna be using Casella Dorkin's Delta Drain. This is basically a dimple mat with a filter fabric, which is gonna leave an air gap of just shy of a half inch on the whole outside Side of our foundation. What this does for us is it relieves that hydrostatic pressure. We don't want our foundation having basically a bathtub effect where that water builds up on the outside. Even the smallest crack or kink in our armor is going to let water in if we have hydrostatic pressure. So this is super important to having a dry foundation. Now on the inside of that is the second, that's our dry system. In this case, we're using all products by Casella Dorkin. They've got a great system here. So the first thing we're using is Delta Cold Joint Barrier. It's a very critical joint where our footer ends up in our wall. Typically your footer is wider and then your wall is narrower. So we need to protect that cold joint between those two pores. In this case, that cold joint barrier is gonna run on the flat portion and up the wall to really protect that critical area so that later we can overlap with the Delta Thene waterproofing membrane. This is a peel and stick product. It's about three feet wide. We're gonna run this in vertical sections on the foundation. And now I've got 40 mils of thickness on the outside protecting that water from penetrating the concrete. The way that we apply this is first we're gonna use an adhesive by the same name called Delta Thene, which basically acts as a primer that's gonna get rolled onto the concrete. And then when we pull the backing off this Delta Thene, it's gonna stick adhesive on adhesive and it is stuck tenaciously. As you can see, this is not coming off the wall. On top of that, then we're gonna add our insulation layer. Depending on where you are in, in the nation, you're gonna use different thicknesses. Here in the south, I only need one inch, so we've got an R5 XPS on the outside. If you're in the north, you're gonna use thicker insulation. But here's what's special about this Casella Dorkin system, is they've really thought about all the things that we need to apply this without penetrating the waterproofing layer. This is critical. Delta makes this really cool plastic grip fastener that is, has a peel and stick backing as well that can be popped right on top of the waterproofing membrane. And then when we add our insulation on top, all we do have to do is stab that on. Next on top of that, we can use another layer of Delta grip fasteners, and then we can stab this drain board on top of that. The beauty of this system now is I have no penetrations through my waterproofing. We don't want to nail things or penetrate that waterproofing in any way because now we've got a chink in that armor. So now we've got a continuous system. We just use a peel and stick or an adhesive to glue these things on and we're stuck for good. The last step, the third D is drain out. At my feet here, we've got a standard French drain system like we've been using for generations on American houses. Basically, this is a drain tile that's run in a bed of rock and filter fabric. So now any water that's running down the outside here is gonna collect in that drain. This connects to an interior drain system as well. And the low point for all of that is our sump pump pit inside the foundation. We're gonna drop a submersible pump in there with a float and anytime the water level rises now, it's gonna automatically pump out. That's our drain out, the third D in the system. If you follow this approach, you've got now a lifetime of a dry foundation. And remember, if we had to come back and fix something on a foundation, let's say we got something wrong in our waterproofing or we just weren't paying attention to the details, it's at least 10 times more expensive to come back later and do this compared to doing it right the first time. And also think of the loss of reputation and just the hard feelings that you're gonna have with your client if you've experienced the leak. Do yourself a favor, do it right from the get-go. Use a really good system like Casella Dorkins where all the products work together. They've got a full system for waterproofing. 
Hey, for more information on what we talked about today, visit Casella Dorkin's website at caselladorkin.com. Of course, I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram or Twitter. See you next time on The Build Show.